don't care what the doctor said about it, you got to get better. I don't care what the divorce lawyer said, it got to get better. I don't care what Bank of America says, it got to get better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that's not good English, but 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 it got to get better. It got to get better. God did not bring me this far to leave me. He did not take me through all of the hell that I've been through to leave me. He did not say that I'm above and never beneath and don't put me down. He did not say that I'm a lender and not a borrower and not give me increase. Hey, gosh, I know. We've got to get better. we got to get better. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, this woman knew that she couldn't stay where she was forever. She knew that she was in a mess. She knew that she was a mess. She knew that she was a mess. But just because she was messed up didn't mean that she was going to give up. Look at your name and say, just because I messed up don't mean I'm going to give up. Hallelujah. I'm unstoppable. Look at your name and say, I'm unstoppable. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up on myself. I'm not going to give up on my health. I'm not going to give up on my life. I'm not going to give up on my marriage. I'm not going to give up on my ministry. Just because I got issues don't mean that God don't have nothing for me. This woman may have issues, but you see, you see been talking to the right people. Look at your neighbor and say, are you talking to the right people? Are you talking to the right people? Yeah, yeah. If we look at this, we can look at verse 27. And verse 27 says, when she had heard that Jesus, that means she was talking to somebody. When you're in issues and when you're in a mess, look at who you're talking to. Make sure you're talking to the right people. Don't be telling Tyrone all about your business. But don't be telling Boncretia about the things that you're going through. Make sure you're talking to the right people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The woman, like I said, may have had issues. But she must have been talking to the right people. Because she heard of Jesus. She heard something about Jesus. She heard about Jesus, my Savior. She heard about Jesus, my Redeemer. She heard about Jesus, my Comforter. She heard about Jesus, Mary's little baby. She heard about Jesus and something on the inside of her jump. When she heard about Jesus, she got power. When she heard about Jesus, she got an uncanny energy in her. She heard about Jesus and she couldn't sit still. She's been hearing bad news all along. She's been hearing bad stuff all along. Have you ever been there with going to this person and that person and they telling you bad news? No, you need to leave him. No, you need to leave her. No, man, you need to sell your house. You need to sell your car. You've been hearing bad news all along. But, but Lord, glory be to God. She heard a word about the word. She heard a word about the word. And the word is that Jesus is coming by. The word is that Jesus is in town. I don't know about you, but when I feel unstoppable, all I got to do is listen for a word about Jesus Christ. Jesus does something on the inside of me. Something on the inside of me works on the outside of me. Oh, what a change in my life. Something in her said, I got to get to Jesus. Something in her said that I'm not going to give up. Something in her said, I got to touch this man. Something in her said that this crowd ain't going to stop me. It's funny how when you turn your mind around and turn your perspective on things around, that the crowd try to keep you from Jesus. If you look at this lady, she had an issue of blood. She was an outcast from the rest of the people. So the crowd was surrounding Jesus. Sometimes people will get in your way of bless your blessing. Sometimes people People will get in your way of your breakthrough. Sometimes people will get in your way. But this woman, she says, I got to get to Jesus. 
God can get to Jesus. He don't have to do anything. If I get to Jesus, he ain't got to say nothing. If I get to Jesus, he ain't got to put his hand on me. If I get to Jesus, he ain't got to move. If I get to Jesus, all I'm going to do is touch the hem of his garment. He don't have to say a word. Hallelujah. He ain't got to say a word. Because I know his anointing will heal me. I know his power will deliver me. I know his word will make me right. I know that if I just touch, what's touching him? If I can put my hand on something that's close to him, if I can get in his presence, that's all it takes is getting in his presence. Hey, shop, I'm, 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 I'm. Get in his presence when you're feeling down. Get in his presence when you're feeling depressed. Get in his presence when you're feeling low. Get in his presence when you're feeling down. Get in his presence when you're feeling like giving up. Get in his presence. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to his name. Bless his holy name. Get in his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This woman knew that nothing was going to stop her from getting in his presence. Nothing was going to keep her away from her blessing. She knew that she was unstoppable. And what makes us unstoppable is our faith in knowing that Jesus would make everything all right. 